Oh, officer down. Officer down. Sergeant Franklin. Officer down. Use the city area. Police rush to the scene after a San Francisco police officer is struck by a hit and run driver tonight. Why police say the suspect took off. Hello and welcome. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. The officer was on a bicycle when the SUV hit him on Turk between Van Ness Avenue and Franklin Street. Nightbeat's Joe Vasquez joins us now live from Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital with details. Joe, what can you tell us? Well, Veronica, all evening we've been watching as a steady stream of police officers have been driving through here to General Hospital to visit their colleague who was severely injured today. He's a bicycle cop assigned to the Tenderloin Station. This afternoon around 1220, he was helping with an investigation of a man suspected of a firearms violation. Police say the suspect noticed the officers, then suddenly bolted, and in the process, smashed his SUV right into the officer's bike. Officer down. Officer down. Sergeant Franklin. Officer down. Use the city area. Police chased the suspect, but then lost him. They found his car with obvious front end damage, but he was nowhere to be found. After a three-hour manhunt, officers finally arrested the suspect in the 500 block of Ellis. Meanwhile, the officer was rushed to General Hospital. He got out of surgery this evening. Uh, he's in ICU, so I think that speaks for itself. He's in grave condition, obviously. Assistant Chief Tony Chaplin says the officer has been on the force for four years. He has family members now coming in from out of town to be by his side in the hospital. This, this is a tough day for the San Francisco Police Department in a city and county of San Francisco. I just spoke with some of the officers from the affected station, and uh, everyone right now is having a tough time with this. And so I asked the public to keep the officer in their prayers. I'm told the officer has head and neck injuries. Everyone here, a lot of them, uh, a lot of people here visiting him right now, hoping and praying for his recovery. Reporting live on the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez.